First of all, atrial fibrillation is becoming a global epidemic. The population ages, and AFib is an age-related disease, so the number of patients with atrial fibrillation are increasing, and our current therapies are not meeting these needs. So we absolutely need an alternative therapy. So the TREAT-AF trial randomized patients to active versus sham uh, transcutaneous electrical stimulation of the vagus nerve. Uh, and we showed in this trial that there was a significant 85% reduction in the AF burden, that is the percent of time that people spent in atrial fibrillation uh, over a six month period. As I said, we saw this difference in atrial fibrillation burden, um, which is a significant predictor of outcomes like stroke. Um, so our goal is to select those patients that are more likely to respond to this therapy and then apply this therapy to these patients so that we can maximize the efficacy of this novel non-invasive therapy. Well, I'm very excited about HRS 2019 because there were three randomized clinical trials, including ours, uh, that showed that autonomic neuromodulation, different forms, uh, had positive, uh, resulted in positive uh, results. The Eradicate AF showed that renal denervation, in addition to standard pulmonary vein isolation, um, resulted in less AFib in patients. Uh, and then the BEAT HF showed that uh, baroreceptor stimulation improved quality of life and functional capacity in patients with heart failure. So I think the future of uh, neuromodulation is bright and I'm looking forward to see its evolution.